Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and I've been pretty busy with exams recently, pretty busy schedule, but I have another project going on right now, hopefully I can upload that new build later this week or next week, early next week, but in today's video I decided to modify an old project and show you guys what it does. Now if you guys haven't seen the original video, this is an air gun I made. Basically all it does is before what you would do is it didn't have this tube or pump. So imagine just the gun. What, what you do is unscrew a cap at the end here, spray in your fluid, screw it back on, something like Axe, um, hairspray, even like alcohol would work. And then screw it back on, hit the little trigger right here. It, of course, makes a little spark between this wire and this thumbtack. And then as long as your valve, your little safety valve here is open, if it's closed, there could be a little bit of an explosion back here. So make sure it's open. You will shoot whatever's out with the barrel. Now, in today's video, I modified it a little bit with a pump. All I did is I installed a little portable bicycle pump on a valve with an adapter going to this hose which goes in the end which is now affixed so instead of taking it off every time what I can now do is take this pump unscrew the fitting which doesn't take very long pull it out a little bit get your fluid such as Axe I find Axe spray works the best it's very explosive also keeps girls away note that if you're in high school this does not smell good anyway you spray it in there once you have a little bit in there, put the plunger back in. Hard to do it on camera. Pump it, which pumps the fuel and air mixture, which is very key, through the tube and into the combustion chamber. And worst case scenario, if you don't have enough air, unlike last time where you had to unscrew the cap, blow with your mouth in the end and screw it back on. This time, if you need more air because you have too much fuel, it's too rich, just open it up and give one more pump hit the trigger and it should fire. Why don't I give you guys some testing? So the only downside of this project as I explained is you have to take the plunger out every time. Now luckily you can keep this unscrewed because all you're doing is compressing the air so it doesn't matter. But a quick solution to that would be very similar to this other project I made. This is my internal combustion sniper rifle. Same idea with the pump except on this one I put a little hole in the cylinder so that when you retract the pump, instead of taking the plunger all the way out, you just take your fuel source, which in this case is a very large cigarette style lighter with an extended hose, and then you can simply put that inside the tube through a very small hole, just like that. Then hit the gas just a little bit, take it out, compress the plunger, and then shoot it. Just like that. Now, to do that, all you'd have to do is put a hole right there, and you could do that on this gun as well. Nonetheless, here we go with the shooting test. I'm going to do it this way for this video just because I don't want to break this nice bicycle pump that I will use for other projects. So, unplug it, add a very little bit of fuel in the end of the cylinder, just like that. Then when you pu pump it back on, put this valve on in the closed position, pump it closed. First, why don't we try shooting a cork, put the cork in the end of the gun barrel, and here we go. Open up the valve, firing at that little wooden end table in three, two, one. Maybe give it some more air. There you go. So that's what I said. It was a little too rich at first. Then after that, it fired very quickly. Let's do it again. Okay, so here we go, second shooting test. Let's try Nerf bolt this time. Again, take off the barrel. Let's put in a little less fuel this time. Just like that, that might have been too much again. We'll find out. Put the plunger back in, give it a few pumps of air. Then go ahead and add your ammo, such as a Nerf bullet. And here we go, firing in three, two, one. Pretty powerful, that easily hit that pillow right there. Now, we'll try one more continuous shot. 
out goes the barrel or pump very little bit of fuel pump it in now let's put a cork tight in the end of the barrel for maximum pressure firing again let's do maybe at the wall right there in three two one a little more air maybe it takes a little bit to get used to the right ratio there you go guys I hope you can have an idea of how powerful that is I'll show you guys one more shot this time with no ammo just to get maybe a little fireball very little bit of fuel it's hard to do almost the perfect amount I'll shoot it for you guys just like this there you go first time that try you can see the little blue mixture now we're out of fuel so it won't fire but anyway there it is the modified um, we'll call it like aerosol powered gun hope you guys enjoyed the video very nice modification if you want to see the original video just go check out my other videos and that explains it more in depth how to make the actual original component although basically if you know where the plumbing section of your hardware store is you should be able to find every single one of these pieces and figure out how it goes together but anyway thanks for watching everyone hope you guys enjoyed the video as always please like comment and subscribe